hi everyone welcome back to my channel today I wanted to show you I've been saying I was going to destash and I'm going to show you the ones that I am parting with which are a lot um, there will probably be more as far as the week's um, covers are concerned but right now I'm really trying to minimize my collection I'm really um, I'm feeling very overwhelmed by all this stuff and I just I'd like to have a few um, left and I love them all so it's been a really difficult um, journey for sure so I think I'm going to start by size sorry I just moved the tripod um, so first the A6 I have three different brands <coughs> that I'm going to sell first is the Moreland from Chic Sparrow right here I've never really gone out with it. Uh, I've used it a few times. In fact, I had my five year in it and I love this cover. Have a, I'm at that point though, where I just want to do no cover or just a Hobonichi cover for the five year. Um, and just, I have too many A6. So this one is going to go, I think this is called the Cascade um, Pockets, but I'm not sure. I will put everything here with the price. If you're PayPal ready, just email me at this email, lolini2525 at gmail.com and um, we can go from there. Then I am letting go of my lacal that I actually designed with him. I love this cover, same. I'm just really keeping my old ride and die if you pay attention and the new one that I have, I don't think I've spoke about yet on this channel. Um, I love the pocket. The leather is fantastic. It's lightly patinaed. I think it's going to keep on getting shinier and shinier. And again, this is an A6. It has two elastics pocket, the two card slot, and these kind of pockets, which I love. Um, the next one, they're all difficult to part with, is the Speckled Fawn Chatelaine in the natural leather. Now I know this one is kind of have hard to come by. And it's an A6, it has the zipper, zipper here. Boom. There we go. And hold on, then I have, I'm also um, going to sell some covers I made. So I'm gonna include those in here. I am letting go of this Lorite because I'm not using it. Now this is a weird one because it's technically a B6, but if I put, it works with the Midori Slim uh, B6 uh, like planner, the minimal diary they have. Um, that's what I used in there. But if I put like this one, which I think this is the Danica, does it fit? Oh, actually, it does fit. Never mind. It is a B6. Well, now see how it goes. Okay. So there's a little bit of a defect on this one. So I'm going to let go of this one pretty. Um, cheap I think and it's a beautiful I love the leather it's a vintage tan leather I love love this leather it's beautiful and it, it does have three little marks a little bit of um, another one is one that was uh, gifted to me but I don't I don't really um, do very colorful covers and it's a sojourner um, with the I think it is a sojourner so I don't see the oh maybe not I'm pretty sure it is because those kind of leathers, but I don't see any marks. So I don't know, but it is a week's cover. And let me see, that would be my question is, how does it fit? So you can see, I, I think you can fit easily the, yeah, you can fit a cover on cover on this. I just, you can have it like this. And I know there's a lot of people getting the purple uh, weeks, <coughs> or light purple weeks. So that's a good one for that, if you like to match. Uh, then I have a cover I made, which has two snaps. It's also a week, so you can put it with the cover on cover, slip it here so you can have your pen and it all fits in there. It's a leather that's very um, creme, like the creme brulee from Shakespeare and then I have this one which is a branded one and you see it's handmade so it's not machine uh, sewn and you can see some imperfections and that is also for the weeks uh, now I have a B6 slim from Sojourner and I think I'm 
I'm not sure this is the caribou leather, but it has one little pocket and then somebody added a plastic and it has really three elastics. Um, and yeah, the stitching kind of matches the elastic too. There we go. And that's a basic B6 limb. Then I have two B6 left uh, that I made. This one, I'm gonna call it number one, which is very textured. It's also like a creme, very, very textured uh, piece of leather. And then I have this one, um, a textured piece of leather. And I think those snaps, let me see. Yeah, those snaps are smaller. And it's all uh, matching stitching on these. This one is a little more smooth, as you can see. This part is a little textured, so it has more variety. And the snaps are huge on this. They're like industrial snaps. And same though, it's all um, matching stitching. And then I have one uh, traveler notebook that I made with this Italian leather. It was kind of a test. And I used the, it's a uh, traveler's notebook elastic inside and on the outside and it just has the one it's very simple and this leather is beautiful okay i love the marks but um so next video i'll show you what i have kept <laughs> um if you're interested again just contact me i'm going to be posting these i think i'm going to try to put them on mercury otherwise um and thanks for watching bye bye